Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. And today is Thursday, April 29th. Woo woo! And I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did the woo woo. I know why I brought my jewelry out behind my necklace because I couldn't see it. But we are on day 119. What are you doing with these days? I hope that you are making these days perfect. I hope that they are working for you. I hope that you're making the management system that we have in Shibboleth work for you. So when you hop on here this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from, and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. If you are watching this and you're thinking, how did I get on here and what is Shibboleth? Just say, hey, what's Shibboleth? And we will get back with you on that. Good morning, Charlene from Michigan. Having a perfect day. That's awesome. Very, very awesome. So I have a, a busy day today. So I have my bag planned. All right. I got my, my bag here. It's a cooler bag, but I don't have anything cold in it. So it's okay. I've got my Mighty Muffin already made. This is a lemon cream. This is the new flavor. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Hey, Crystal. Good morning. And whenever you get a cream chip, this tastes like Fruity Pebbles to me. Good morning, Julie from Indiana, having a perfect day. Good morning, Amy from Ohio, having an intermittent fasting perfect day. That's what I'm doing too, Amy. So I've got my Mighty Muffin ready. I've got four waters in here and an Advocare Spark. This is the watermelon flavor. And I've got four waters in here because I don't really do more than four when I'm going out and about because, you know, I gotta stop all the time and go to Tinkle. Hey, Deirdre, Flagler Beach, fasting so far, but waiting on lab work. Okay, I hope your lab work comes out well, wonderful, wonderful. So, and then I have, since I'm gonna be gone like till almost eight o'clock tonight, I have all the things in here. Sometimes I just try to eat three meals, but I have all the things. So I've got this for lunch. You know me and my oatmeal protein pies, and I like the original best. This is a can be a snack. Now you can combine this with other things and make it a meal replacement or a perfect pairing, but I, I possibly will use that as a snack today. And then one of these, I don't want to open up the packet. Actually, I did that last week, and I don't have time today to go in there and get that. But one of those would be a extra if I want a little something extra. And then this, this might be dinner. I love this salted caramel power crunch bar taste. It's really good. This might be dinner. I'm not sure. I will be at a Mexican place, but I'm not a big fan of Mexican because it makes me feel gross. I had even quit eating Mexican before Shibboleth. And then there's been a few times where I have tried Mexican since Shibboleth. And of course they were on holidays, but I was still like, ugh, disgusting. So anyway, I will be at a Mexican restaurant, and I did eat something there last time, but it was a holiday that I did. So tonight, I was thinking, if I don't want that Power Crunch bar, I can order something there. But of course, guess what I know how to do? I know how to order perfect on um, at this restaurant tonight. All right. Hey, Becky. Becky loves the lemon, too. Yes. Good morning from Cairo. Intermittent fasting day and down from some holiday weight. Awesome. The lowest weight since she has started. Praise the Lord. That is awesome, Becky. Awesome. Good morning, Michelle Harper. Have a lot going on today. Maybe a holiday. Her son is signing to play tennis at Shorter this morning. Yay. You tell him that this is for him. Yes, that is for him. That is awesome. I have a networking event and dinner. It may stay perfect, just not sure. I totally understand that. I know that you already have it planned out. Yes, those Choco Right candies are actually necessary for me. <laughs> Becky, they're good. Tony, good morning. Awesome. That is fabulous. Tony's weight continues to drop this second week. Just loving this program. That's awesome, Tony. Super excited. Good morning, Sandy from Bechtelsville, Pennsylvania. Having a perfect day. Hey, Alice. Alice, what's happening? I don't like the first word Alice used. Sorry, Alice. I'm struggling. We're going to, I'm going to teach you why. Lots of stressful changes around here, but I keep in mind what you said, just because things go wrong don't mean you have to go with them. That has helped me a lot lately. Thank you for your encouraging words. Awesome. 
I got something else for you to use. I've got something else, Alice. Okay, let's not struggle. Struggle seems like you're in a pit and you don't have any tools to get out. You don't have a system to use to get out. Let's battle, okay? So, battle means, see, people that go into battle, they don't go into battle not prepared. You're prepared, Alice. Alice, you are prepared to be able to do this even during difficult times, you are prepared. We have our shield, boom, Shibboleth shield. See, we can just use the five components, the five daily disciplines of the shield to battle those fiery darts and all those things that are coming at you right now. But see, when you're just struggling, it's kind of like you're just clawing out of a pit and struggling, and I get it. But let's go in with a different mentality, battle mentality. Because in a battle, see, people that go into battle, they're brave, Alice. You're brave. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay? And I'm glad that you are listening to me when I say things go, when things go wrong, doesn't mean you go with them. Excellent. Now let's put in the battle into play. All right. Um, Tony, I don't prefer traditional Mexican, but we love Chewy's and Kennesaw. Favorite for a holiday. Yes. Charlene, I love I love Mighty Muffins and the Oatmeal Protein Pies. Yeah, another friend of mine was saying that the Key Lime was uh, her favorite, too. Um, we got some... Hey, oh, no, Alice, I know. That is so hard. That is so hard. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, in the name of Jesus, Alice's mother will heal 100% and completely from that broken hip. Kathy, good morning from Michigan. Having a perfect day. That's right. That's right, Tony. See, a battle equals the armor of God. Do you realize that all the things that are in Shibboleth have to do with the Bible? All of them. So it's amazing. Everything I read, this morning I was reading about obeying, and it was saying how when you obey, you will have a great reward. And I'm thinking, Shibboleth. When you follow the system, you have a great reward, which is results. So you're right, Tony. We don't that, that put on that armor of God every single day and go to battle. Good morning, Patty. Having a perfect day despite the accountant, accountant yesterday. <laughs> uh, Suzanne, IMF day on the work hard, play hard. Her husband joins the bowl and is down 12 pounds. Awesome. And 32.8 down for her. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for having your husband join Shibboleth. All right. The reason I have to say that is because there's a lot of husbands or wives, but mostly husbands that benefit from the Shibboleth lifestyle, but never actually join. And personally, at the price that we charge, I think that it is like doing a, a honoring the system, honoring the ministry for people who are in your household to also have a membership if they're benefiting from it. Because you need to think, this didn't cost you thousands of dollars to lose weight. It could have cost you, I mean, it could have cost you that, but it doesn't. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Suzanne, for having your husband join Shibboleth. Thank you. Um, that's right, Becky. We do not struggle. We battle. And we have the tools that we need to go to battle. Um, yes. Yes, Alice. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for accepting the... Um, the advice this morning and being so positive. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Patty. Thank you, Patty, for encouraging her. Yes. Prayers for your mom. Good morning, Gina. Yay. She finally broke the plateau. She's down seven pounds and Steve's down 48. Woo! That is awesome. I love it. I love it. That's fabulous. Good morning, Monica from Lawrenceville having an intermittent fasting day. Good morning, morning Polly Jones. Yes. Awesome, Gina. Thank you. I'm glad that Steve is joining this week. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, that's right, Julie. Julie, she says we battle and the battle belongs to the Lord. Thank you for adding that. Yes. Yes. We just have to follow what he says to do. So that is awesome. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do this devotion oh. this morning. I don't know why Daisy has been bothering me in the morning. Why? Why is she bothering me? She wants to go out front. Well, I have decided not to let her out front anymore with me. I let her, the last time I let her out front was just a couple of days ago. She ran over into the bushes and killed a bird. 
And I was like, oh my goodness. And um, so she's not going out there. I let her out back, but I'm not putting her out front because if that bird nest is still there and they're still, there was, I think it was a baby, but not like a baby baby because it still had, it had feathers, but it still had some down on it. So um, yeah, why'd she do that? Now I'm not letting her out front. Hey, Lori, perfect day in Iowa. Awesome, Lori. Yes, Travis was on fire again last night. I love listening to that. He's doing it again tonight, y'all. Now, remember, this is specifically for people that are not members. So all of us members who love and are so thankful for this lifestyle, right now should be sharing this and then make sure that you invite. And you could personally copy the link and just message it to people. Hey, I don't know if you've been interested in what I've been doing, but this is a free webinar tonight. Please join me. I'll be on there and can say hello. Okay, that's what you do. Let's see. Wendy, Wendy, about two pounds from her second goal. That is awesome. I am a little, I'm, I'm, I'm very, this thing happy. And I'm going back to Becky. Becky, lowest weight. Holiday weight off. Yay. Um, Gina's pup is needy today too. Hey, Don Callaway. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, you don't tell Michelle that my dog killed a bird the other day, okay? All right. So, devotion. Accountability, helpful or detrimental? And the verse is Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. You will keep in perfect peace those, who mind, those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Okay. So, you will keep in perfect peace. Who's you? Who is you? Good morning, Robin. Perfect day for Robin. She is on a roll. Love it. You is God. You will keep in perfect peace. Those whose minds are steadfast. Whose minds should be steadfast? Ours. Our minds should be steadfast. Because they trust in you, meaning God. In the middle of a radio interview about Made to Crave, the show's host opened the phone line for questions. Much to my surprise, the first caller was a man. He was, the, he was using the message of Made to Crave to overcome his... She's, wrote, she's written struggles. But since he's wanting to do something, I'm going to call it a battle. His battle... Oh, listen to this, with pornography. He was using, you can use this book for lots of things. Yeah, you can use Shibboleth for lots of things. He confessed that for years he tried to win this battle using an accountability partner. It sounds good to have a friend who will hold you accountable, and it can be crucial. But it can also be detrimental. Whether accountability is positive or negative depends on where the conversations are focused. What we focus on becomes bigger and more magnified. The radio caller confessed that when meeting with his accountability partner, he made mental notes of all the inappropriate sites his accountability partner confessed during their time together and then later visited those sites himself. Instead of helping his addiction, this accountability relationship actually fueled his failure. That's sad. It wasn't until the two men changed the focus of their conversation from porn to truth that they made progress. When the caller focused on the porn, his thoughts became more and more conformed to his pattern of sin. When he focused on truth, he became more and more transformed into a pure man of God. Wow, did this make complete sense to me. My physical struggle is not the same as this man's struggle, but my physical struggle with food can be just as alluring and consuming. What might happen if instead of focusing our conversation on the scale, the food, and the hardship of sacrifice, we focused instead on asking each other questions about truths like these. Our goal is letting the peace of God rule in us. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Our desire is to honor God with our bodies. Do you not know that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought with a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. 
1 Corinthians 6, 19 and 20. How do you, or how will you, or how have you honored your body with, had honored God with your body this week? Our objective is to fill our soul with an abundance of truth instead of filling our stomach with an abundance of food. Then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. John 8, 32. What truths were you filled with this week? Of course, part of accountability is to ask the tough questions about the physical struggles as well. But sh we, we shouldn't make this our focus. If we want to grow closer to God, we have to distance ourselves from the distractions holding us back. And part of the distancing process is focusing on and magnifying God more and more, especially in our time of accountability. And I'm going to go ahead and read this prayer. Dear Lord, I truly understand how important good accountability is. As I progress through this journey, help me to continue to keep my focus on your truth. Help me to focus on the things I can eat rather than the things I can't eat. That's what Travis says all the time. I desire to honor you with my body, which is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Use me to help others who battle as I do. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I think I ought to call her and tell her to change struggle to battle. Um, but anyway, yes, this is so very, very much true. And one of the things that I think that we do, so accountability, we call the class in Kennesaw a accountability meeting. And it's not like we're going in there sharing every little thing. You know, sometimes there is... Um, just a lesson. Sometimes we're talking. It's all very different. It's never the same. And I like that because all we're doing by going to class in person, and I'm going to talk about people that don't have access to a closed class. All I'm doing is um, we're coming together on a regular basis to make sure that we keep our minds steadfast on what we are trying to achieve and what we are trying to change in our life. So, you know, you've heard the, the, the adage, 21 days change the habit. Mm -mm. It's longer. It's longer. 21 days is a good start, okay? But it takes much longer to change a habit. Think, if you have been having habits, and I'm just using the average age of 50, if you've had 50 years of habits that need to be changed, 21 days, I mean, the Lord could do that. The Lord could change that for you, yes, but we got to keep applying, okay? And that's going to go way longer, way longer than 21 days. So we got to keep on going. So those of you who are not near a class, it's jumping on when Jason does a live. It's jumping on when Travis and Sasha do exercise. It's watching these things, but actively encouraging your friends to do the same thing with you. It's fun to encourage other people in this journey. So it is participating through the videos. And if there isn't anything live going on, because sometimes people need a break and they take a break from live videos and things like that, you've got hundreds of videos on the website to connect with. Go back and do fast track again if you have to. Um, listen to those things. It never hurts to hear things multiple times. See, Travis says things slightly different than I say them, and Jason says them slightly different than the way I say them, and Travis says them, and so forth, okay? Everybody does. But if we listen to these things over and over again, things will click. You will hear them said in a different way, and you, and you have to immerse yourself in it to fully change your habits and your lifestyle. You got to change it. All right, let's see. Thank y'all for typing in that verse. Alice woke up at 4 a.m. with that verse in my head and my heart. Alice, you and I both have been up. I've been up since about five myself, and I started writing things um, from Don Gossett's The Power of Positive Confession. Uh, one of the things that he says is that we um, often don't let the Word of God work for us. In fact, he was saying that he prayed for somebody one day, and that she goes, you're going to keep praying for my sickness. And he went, you just negated it. <laughs> so he, I, was, I was just writing these things down because I find that writing things helps me. So um, Alice, I do hope you get some little cat naps today and get some rest, okay? And uh, we'll keep praying for your mom. When I say that, I mean for her comfort and everything else because she will be healed completely. 
Um, yes, Michelle, our mind should be stay steadfast. Lynn Hughes, I'm back. Day three, detox headache. Oh, goodness, Lynn. Lynn, first of all, we're so glad that you're back. That's awesome. So super excited about that. And that headache is temporary. Temporary. So the results that you'll get from making it through can be, will be permanent. So headache, go away. Yes, Gina, she's right. She says there is such a thing as food porn too. Yeah. Yep. Focused on truth. I love it. Hey, Tammy King, having a perfect day. Um, how long are the classes? Which, which classes? The one in Kennesaw? They're typically 45 minutes to an hour in Kennesaw. Uh, yeah, that's right, Polly. Polly says that, that is a wonderful lesson, even about the company we keep and the conversations we have. The peace of God is amazing. You're welcome, Alice. You're welcome. All right, we're going to hop off of here. Dear Heavenly Father, I just feel led to say another prayer. Father, I confess that we have your word, and your word is what we should put out into your universe each and every day. We are going to positively confess your word over our lives. In the name of Jesus, none of us have an addiction to food any longer. That is gone, gone, gone. We also have the tools, Father. Thank you that we have a management system. Let us put it into play every single day and win at the game of life. In Jesus' name, you're welcome, Lynn. You're welcome. Thumbs up, Wendy. Okay, y'all have a blessed and wonderful day, and I'm going to go eat this Mighty Muffin. Bye.